Nigga, you gotta give a fuck, nigga. Come on, you a bitch for this shit you just said. Oh, I tried. I was fucking with you. I tried to fuck with him. I need holler. Man, they don't give a fuck, nigga. Nigga, fuck you. Nigga, don't fuck with shit like that, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, nigga, bitch ass nigga? I already let you, you already tried to sign nigga first time with the creative shit. I don't even give a fuck, nigga. Nigga, and he a bitch for letting you say that shit for a second, that shit. Nigga, hold. Nigga, don't be bitches, man. You ain't on. Nigga, don't be fine. Nigga, better recognize nigga, trip. All y'all niggas be trip. All you niggas be bitches, man. Hey, when nigga don't want to fuck with you, that don't mean nigga act a hollow. Nigga, I just don't. Fuck with niggas, I hate niggas, cause niggas be pure bitches, niggas got whole tendencies, nigga hoes, bro. Niggas bitches, bro. Niggas tripping. I don't respect none of that playing both sides shit. The fuck, nigga? Nigga better, nigga better, nigga better lay low, nigga. Nigga better lay down, nigga. Nigga better lay down, nigga. Nigga don't fuck with Ron, nigga. Rest in peace, Ron. Nigga don't fuck with Ron, nigga tripping. I don't fuck with all this, man. You don't need much, no, you nigga, man. You niggas tripping. These niggas trip, these niggas pure little, Bobby. These niggas, these niggas pussy, Bobby. These niggas pussy, man. These niggas, these niggas can't even fuck me. These niggas tripping. These niggas tripping, bro. You better go ask the nigga why. Why? Man, these niggas need to talk on the internet. You better ask the nigga what really going on, nigga. These niggas tripping, nigga. Nigga, who I smoke, nigga, every nigga dead. These niggas tripping. These niggas be tripping, bro. Fuck wrong with these niggas, man. These niggas ain't know you sat down and played with me. He played the first time. Chill. I let that shit. I said, I ain't really gonna play with him. Yeah, y'all, what's good? Your boy, Big Breezy in the Cut. Coming back to y'all on this good, good Wednesday. Happy Hub Day and all that. And today we're gonna get in to Mimo 600. We're gonna, we're gonna expose him because it's, 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 it's a lot of evidence that proves Mimo is not who we think he is. All right. Now, those of you who don't know, Mimo started off probably three, four years ago with exposing me, you know, which is like uh, one of his hit songs. You know what I'm saying? He blew up. You know what I'm saying? Mimo 600 is the big brother to little Steve who 600 like paid homage to and called it Steve Drive. You know, so Mimo been messed around with them because of Lil Steve. Now, to my recollection and through my, you know what I'm saying, snooping around and, you know what I'm saying, talking to people, Mimo 600 was never like that. You know what I'm saying? At times, he they, they said he was a little scared. There's, there's a rumor going around that before Scrap got killed, Mimo had a chance to kill him. And he froze. And Scrap got away. Now, Scrap is from MOB. Scrap is the one who allegedly killed Little Steve. And funny thing about that is he got arrested. And guess who was the witness to tell on Scrap? Phase 600. Now, if y'all know who Phase 600 is, Phase 600 is the stepbrother to Mimo and Little Steve. So Mimo's family's got a bad rap, and that's not even that's not even all. C Day and Ronald number nine, to my recollection through my snooping again, is locked up and is serving time because Mimo 600's sister told on him. But yet she's cool and she's chilling on the block. Now, a lot of 600 members are not feeling that, you know, and Mimo 600 begin to weigh with a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because honestly, even if you ain't do, even if you ain't snitch or none of that, your people snitch. So a lot of the times we don't even mess with snitches, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how he's getting through the gates, but Dirk and them, OTF is fucking with Mimo, you know what I'm saying? And him... Not being smart, taking that and just, you know, let me be cool. He's doing a lot of funny shit like that I'm not feeling. RP when Vaughn passed away, 
he felt a certain type of way that people wanted to slide and go hard for Vaughn. Everybody know how Vaughn was. Everybody know Vaughn rep O Block a lot, but he also rep 600. He also went sliding with 600. He also turned up for 600. So, of course, people from 600 O Block gonna rep Vaughn because Vaughn was both O Block and 600. And then later on, he became OTF. You, Mimo, seem to have a problem with people, you know what I'm saying, in the spotlight, and, and it's not you. And I honestly think Dirk need to check you, bro, because you you moving goofy. Now, this latest situation with Young Ace, now, those who don't know who Young Ace is, Young Ace is a Florida rapper, if I'm correct, that made the song... Who I smoke. Now it's a catchy, funny, but it's still a drill song. It's cool, honestly. Like it caught my eyes. At first I was laughing. I thought they was gonna just be on, it was a parody. That's what I really thought when I first heard it. But the song is really a song about young Ace smoking his dead ops. You know what I'm saying? It has a cool tune to it. It's, it's a remix to I forgot the girl's name. She's a pop star. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can check it up. Y'all can look it up. It's called Young Ace Who I Smoke. Now, Young Ace did songs with Vaughn. So, you know what I'm saying? His, his, his uh, you know, clicking up with people, he was with Vaughn. You know what I'm saying? Even in the um this this IG where he's coming at Mimo 600, he, he let you know he ain't got no beef with Vaughn. It's all respects of all R.P. Vaughn. But he don't like how Mimo was moving. And this is why. Because Mimo is talking to his ops. Now, if Young Ace is rocking with OTF, O blocking them, why would you go fuck with his ops? Get on live with his ops. Then get upset, get upset because you tried to sign him and he didn't want to sign you. Because you honestly, yo, let's 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 keep it a hundred. You a goofy. You are that you a goofy that's getting through the cracks. And somebody need to check you, bro. Because you're not like that. You're not like that at all. You know what I'm saying? As much as the Chicago drill scene has been on display on YouTube and you can find who did what and what did what, you ain't know for everything is a it's a it's an asterisk with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's yeah, everybody, this there's a rumor going that you you had something to do with little Mrs. Um murder, but I doubt that. You know what I'm saying? And I, I honestly know who did it. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. And I'm not trying to blow them up. But it wasn't you. But yeah, yeah, yeah you take shit and run with it. Like you you diss ops when they die and all that. But you never is known for sliding. You ain't even slide for your brother. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even check your sister or your, or your brother-in-law. But you got the nerve to be causing more issues for Dirk and OTF and them. Do you understand Dirk is still facing a, a, a attempt murder charge and robbery and whatnot? Do you know he's still on bond and all that? Do you know that old block and 600 is on watch by the feds? But you want to sit here and cause more issues with people that was cool with child, but not cool with you now because you want to talk to their ops. That's some goofy shit. That's a goofy move, bro. You wilding, you tweaking. And somebody need to check this man. You know what I'm saying? It took me a while to come up, come around to even start listening to you because I didn't believe what you were saying. When you listen to people like Vaughn, we listen to people like like Boss Top and all of them, and then we listen to you, you could tell, like, you know what I'm saying? Because every one of them got something that's, that's proof. It's out there. You have no proof on nothing. But yet you talk like you about it. And then you cause issues that does not to be does not need to be caused. You out here tripping, bro. And somebody need to really check that man. And stop this hating, bro. Everything does not revolve around Mimo 600. You lucky you even in the light. Like, not that like people that's in your position that your family did what they did, nine out of ten times they be smoked. You know that. So I don't know. What it really is, me honestly, my guess is Lil Steve was just that nigga that he allow, he's allowing you to prosper. Because for real, for real, your sister's a snitch, 
your, your brother-in-law's a snitch, like, like that'll make, that, me, that makes you a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Because you allow that. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and them people that, that mess with you allow them to be around that. And they're not checking you. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's aggravating because, you know what I'm saying, you put in the artists that we the fans like in jeopardy because at the end of the day, whether you a goofy or not, they're going to slide for you because you, you you from the block. And I got nothing but respect for that. But you don't respect them enough to chill. You making money. Your your, eye, your eyes are supposed to be on Quando and them. Dude. Let's keep it 100. You you owe this to Vaughn to slide. You know how many times Vaughn has slid for your block? Slid for your brother? Slid for you? It, it just it, it just messed up when you got rotten apples in the in the in the group, man. And that's what it is. Like it's rotten apples in the group, bro. And this dude is is causing unnecessary problems. You know what I'm saying? Now stuff like that of course young ace to start clicking up with, with NBA young boy. And now you got more, you giving you giving the ops more more uh people to to, 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 to come at you with like you know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think. And and y'all go and check that Young Ace Instagram, you know what I'm saying, story or movie, whatever you call it. You know what I'm saying? And you can hear him. Him talk about how Mimo is lame. He lame for that, for getting on a, on a, on a song with the Oscar. But you was trying to sign him. You was just trying to sign Young Ace. But now you, you mad because he ain't want to fuck with you because you're not, you're not that, bro. Everybody knows that. Did he did he did he turn down Vaughn? No, cause he know Vaughn is like that. He know you just doing this, you woofing. You know what I'm saying? Show show us that you really like that. Go slide. Don't go take. Don't go make movies and videos at at the ops house and all that. Get rid of the ops. There's no excuse. Tim is free. Quando is free. But this is your boy, Be Breezy in the Cut, man. I'm sorry I'm, that I'm a little passionate today, but, you know, I, you know, I fuck with Vaughn and him and all that. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Y'all think uh, Mimo tripping or, you know what I'm saying, like, he, it is what it is. Like and subscribe. One.